Hey, so it's January 5th, I believe, 2020. I wonder how many times we're still going to write 19 on checks and stuff like that. Well, I guess most people don't write checks anymore. Uh, shows how old I am. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video, guys. I'm going to try to get a little more consistent with the videos. Maybe do two, possibly three a week. I'm going to try to do it around the same time. Um, today, I just want to do a quick video. A um, couple things that I picked up. Um, pick the, this up, and I haven't been able to find anything on this. I listed on eBay for an, an, an astronomical amount. Uh, it's called Brother in Arm, Brothers in Arms. It's a... Let's see if it's going to focus here. It's a... Um, Franklin Mint pocket watch uh, of the Viet, uh, you know, commemorating the Vietnam War. Uh, really, really cool. I put that up. I put up the three hundred dollars. I know that's an astronomical amount, but everything I put up online, I put up and I do uh, best offer. Because you know, there may just be a time where I'm tired of looking at it, and somebody throws me a halfway decent offer, um, and I'll take it. Uh, a couple other things down in here. Um, I gotta look these up. Maybe even take this to a jeweler because I don't know if any of these. I know this one isn't gold. Um, Maybe sterling silver or whatever the case may be, but it's a a 300 game bowling ring, which I thought was pretty cool. I picked that up really cheap. Um, this one is, from what I understand, this is a woman's bowling ring. Um, oh, hold on, and I believe it's for an 800. I don't know. I don't know anything about bowling. Um, this one actually might be gold filled or gold. Um, plated i don't know so i gotta take those and have somebody look at them this was pretty cool it came out of a it used to be a from a cashier or a, i'm sorry cash register like at a bar it was a in a light it's just the budweiser clydesdales so i listed that last night um some old glasses i don't know anything about these either some i know some of this stuff can be pretty pretty uh uh expensive um or valuable i guess i should say um, so I picked those up dirt cheap. I got to check into that too. Um, just a couple die cast sheriff's cars, code three, down, another one down in there. Um, that stuff I listed last night. Um, let me just put this stuff away. It's a couple things I found that I thought were pretty cool. Um, I found that Nerf ping pong. Uh, again, there's that vertebrate. I haven't had much action. A lot of people looking at it, but I haven't, I don't know. I guess I must just have it priced way too high. Uh, I'm running a 10% sale through Monday at midnight, 10% um, off everything. Um, that vertebrate, again, is completely sealed, never been opened. Uh, I know ones in good condition can go anywhere from 150 to 300 and I put it up for a grand. I know I'm probably way, way off course, but I can always go down, can't go up. Uh, Nerf Ping Pong, which I thought was cool, uh, from 1987, complete. I mean, it looks like it was never played with. Um, or very, very, very gently played with. I bet whoever kids these were, they had a mother that was a pain in the, in the neck. Put all your toys away. Don't leave them out. You got to keep them nice. Well, thank you. I bought that for five bucks, so we'll see what happens. Uh, as you can see, the, I got quite a mess going on here. And that's not good in the wintertime up in, up in, uh, Connecticut because snow can happen pretty much at any time. In fact, they're tall, calling for some snow maybe this week. So, um, I got a, I got a little bit of work to do today. Um, but what I really want to do a video on is where do people get their packing material? This is a humongous trash bag and it's full of bubble wrap. I don't really like the big pillow bubble wrap. I like this a little bit more. I like the really small stuff the best. Um, but what I do again with my job, it's, I, I, I go to about, Anywhere from 20 to 30 different places a day. Um, and here's boxes. You can see. Let's see if we can work our way over here. There's a big pile of boxes over there. Um, I very rarely pay for boxes or packing material only because I get it from the places that I go to. And I basically ask them, um, hey, do you have any um, packing material? Do you have any boxes? And I just take them, cut them down, break them down. Um, because I, I, what I do too is I actually turn the boxes inside out. Um, it takes a little bit of practice the first time or first couple of times. But there, if you rip it off at the seams, maybe I'll do a video on this too. If you rip it off at the seam, you can flip it inside out, tape it, 
and then pack it all up and then when you tape it the box to could be completely shut you what you got to do is you got to run tape all the way around the perimeter of it so that way it keeps it intact during shipping um so that's basically what i do so i guess basically what i'm saying is uh car dealers are a good place to go um anywhere that receives packages i mean you could even go to your home depot lowe's walmart talk with some of the shipping and receiving people and say hey what do you do with your bubble wrap what do you do with your boxes is there any way i can set it up to where i can come in and i can pick up the stuff that you're just going to throw away anyways um you know if you get in good with some of the, the the people that work at these stores then you can save a lot of money um in packing materials um it does sometimes get to be a pain only because I mean, you're only getting what boxes they have. So you, eventually you're going to run across something where you're either going to have to use a, a box that's way too big or just you're going to have to go out and buy one uh, for something. But in the meantime, instead of going out and buying boxes at 20, 30, 40 cents a piece, if you can get that free over a period of time, you sell 100 things, you're spending 40 cents per box, do the math. Um, you're saving a decent amount. And the, the, the packing material is what kills me. Um, all the, the, the air bubbles and the, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, so again, check all the, any place that you can think of that gets big boxes, that gets shipments in, um, because, and, and, and doesn't reship stuff out. Cause if they reship stuff out, then they're just going to reuse the, the packing stuff. Uh, but again, if they're not, then that is a humongous source. Um, especially if you get in good with the shipping and receiving people, um, you know, I don't know, bring some brownies, uh, something every now and then when you go in there to pet, pick something up, they'll save the stuff for you, you know? So, um, but that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, a happy new year. Uh, unfortunately it's all over. I say unfortunately, because I really do like the holidays. Um, in fact, I just took down all my outside Christmas lights today. Um, here's another thing I want to show real quick since I got it out. I had a guy who was going to buy this from me and turned out to be a real you know what so um i have two of these they're they're really big golf signs they would have been the the sign that was lit up out in front of the golf station um i have one here and i got one way over there on the other side of the snowblower and everything same same uh same exact thing they're four by four and i'd like to get rid of them i mean i'd like to keep them but i just don't have the room so i'm thinking about i don't know how i can't ship these so if you're local or close, I mean, I live in Connecticut. I live in uh, uh, so Southern Connecticut, um, down by New Haven. So if you're close, and you're, um, shoot me a message in the, or, or a comment. Put something in the comments, and I'll get a hold of you, um, and we'll set something up. I mean, I'm willing to drive a little bit. I'm not willing. I had a guy who wanted me to drive like 45 minutes away. No, I'm not doing that. Because I know it's going to happen. You're either not going to show up or you're going to get up. I'm going to get up there and you'll be like, oh, I got 50 bucks. Uh, so I'm not wasting my time. Um, but uh, but yeah, if, if anybody's interested in these, um, I'd like to get 400 a piece. I know that's about the going rate. If you bought both, I'd cut you a deal. If you find me at the right time, I'll cut you a better deal. Um, like Again, I, I'd like to get rid of them just because they're so big. Um, and I just want the room. I want the space. So, and eventually they're going to get broken uh, because they're plastic. They're not metal. They're not uh, ceramic. They are plastic. They're very, very light. Um, but if you were to hang it on your wall and say put a, like, um, now you can't see it. Put like a, a light underneath it. I think it would be really cool in a man cave, in a garage, especially someone who collects signs. So, anyways, I'm getting, I'm, I'm wandering away off the path here. So if you're interested in something like this, put a comment down there um, and I will, uh, I'll get in touch with you and maybe we can work out a deal. So, all right guys, until next time.